Thank you, Mr. Chairman. To quote Joe Biden, this is a big effing deal. And the reason is because for the first time, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Secretary Blinken, Secretary Austin, the military leadership, and this administration are being held accountable. Accountable to these Gold Star families and accountable to the American people. For three years, they've lied. They've ob obfuscated. They've tried to cover up. They've misled. All because they didn't want to take accountability for the disastrous withdrawal that was based on a time frame because Joe Biden wanted to say that when the 20th anniversary of 9-11 hit, we were out of Afghanistan. That is the only reason that we're standing here today, because he allowed politics to be his guiding light. He allowed politics to determine when we withdrew from Afghanistan, as opposed to the conditions on the ground, which is what the Doha Agreement called for. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, who proudly tells everybody she was the last person in the room, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris own this. Thirteen U.S. service members are dead because of them, period, full stop. What this report tells us is very simple. This was preventable. It did not have to happen. That's what this report says. And I encourage every American to read it, to understand the facts and the information, not from the elected officials, not from the members of Congress, but from those who gave firsthand testimony, sworn depositions and statements outlining one disastrous decision after the next. Thirteen U.S. service members are dead today. Their families never get to enjoy their company. Their children don't know them, don't get to experience the holidays, don't get to experience time on the beach as Joe Biden did as the third anniversary hit. They don't get to sit in a mansion like Kamala Harris did on the third anniversary. Disgraceful. Kamala Harris wants to be the President of the United States. She wants to be Commander in Chief. She needs to answer for this report immediately. If any of you in the press actually get the opportunity to ask her a question, don't ask her how she's feeling. Don't ask her, what's your day like? Don't ask her about what it's like to be the first female potentially to be President of the United States. Ask her about this report. Ask her about her decision to withdraw in advance of 9-11. That's what you should be asking her about. So I want to thank Chairman McCall for his effort to uncover the truth to get accountability for these families and to make sure that this never happens again. And let's be clear, this is just the beginning, not the end. There will be a reckoning for this administration and everyone that is accountable for these decisions. Next, we have Mark and Jack.